Welcome back to Airstream Wheeler. In our last video, we discovered that we had a brake problem on day three of our 2,200 mile journey. Oh no. Yeah. I know where that goes. So this is the retainer for the shoe on one side. In this case, it's the forward shoe from the brake job we just did. This piece of hardware sheared off. I don't know why but it's supposed to be holding the brake pad in place. I'm not sure if this is the cause of the problem or just a symptom, but this pin is, you can extract it from the back of the backer plate, but to put it back in and actually lock it in place, I have to twist a little spring onto it. And I have another part. This is the broken one. I just don't know what else might be broken inside the brake drum. Okay. So we are at a Flying J and we're about 230 miles from the Airstream Mothership in Jackson Center, Ohio. Yeah, we're just over the line into Ohio. We're just over the line. So we're having um, vibration and stuff in the brake and before that gets any worse or something happens or we find ourselves in a dangerous situation, we've stopped, we've checked with the Flying J, we have all of our tools and stuff and all the spare parts to actually do this job anyway. So we're gonna take the tires off and we're going to do some minimal blocking and we're just gonna see what is going on before we find ourselves in an unsafe situation. Should have all the hardware to replace what may be broken in there, um, but we'll see. We gotta open it up before we know. Let's get started. You were right about pulling this alongside the trailer yeah. and opening the awning. Yeah, the sun's almost directly overhead so I don't actually have shade right against Dreamboat where I'm working, but I do have the tools out of the sun, which is at least something. So. Yeah, I mean, but your back is shaded, so we're not, it won't be long, I think, before we get some more shade. All right, so what's our plan? Step one. Um, we're gonna air down the outside tire because it doesn't fit. Sorry, we're at a flying cage, did I mention? Um, <laughs> we're gonna air down the outside tire because it doesn't fit past the fender easily. And um, hopefully I only have to air down this outside tire, but. The inside tire will hold the weight just sitting here, so that'll be easy. Um, I carry this little tool to be able to take a valve stem out, that's that side, and um, let the air down when I need to. The Flying J has air, but we also roll with the compressor. Yep, yep. The Via Air in our truck bed for this reason. Yep. So, yeah, we'll be able to air this tire up easily, in theory. And um, yeah, I'm gonna let the air out and I'm gonna loosen the lug nuts before I jack it up. Step two is to loosen the lugs while the tire's on the ground. You'll have better leverage when it's not up on the jack and possibly wrench it off the jack. Okay. I'm just gonna grab the frame and shake it. it. Hoping I let just enough air out to get it. Yep, it's gonna go. There it is. Well, I don't see any weird wear on this, so I guess, I don't think it's really locking up to stop the wheel. It's just internally in the brake, it's dragging, causing trouble. All right, I just loosened eight bolts and took the spindle out. It's sitting right there. I'm gonna try to keep it clean, keep the dust and grit off of it, because I don't want that going back into the gear oil. Um, next, I have to take off the um, lock nuts and washer right here. Since we just redid these, I know that this spring shouldn't be here and it should be here. And this is supposed to be right here with the spring that has landed on this. 
with it, the shaft that goes through and twist locks just like this one. Yep. And because we just did this a couple weeks ago, I am aware of what's wrong. So essentially, this thing should be holding this back and in line and instead was probably just like rattling around loose in the drum. So I'm really glad we didn't try to push on and we stopped. I know we're trying to get to Airstream to the mothership, but. There's a ton of brake dust in here because the brake was dragging. It essentially wasn't held correctly, so it would have been rubbing all kinds of funny on this drum. But the fact that this piece of metal was bouncing around loose in there and hasn't led to like some major gouging in the surface of this drum, like I'm really happy and really surprised. I was hoping for the best with the um, condition of the shoes, I'd just be able to replace that one little broken pin and put it back together. But I think these grooves here in the shoe mean that loose piece that broke free basically did a trip around the brake shoe, probably being forced by it um, while we were driving. So there's actually several different places where there's grooves cut in. We've got some some badness in this one too. Well, it's not worth the risk. No, we've got a pair. Let's just um, replace them. Oh no, no, we're gonna have to redo all yeah, the springs. All the springs. We gotta oh, take it all apart. No. We gotta take it all apart. <laughs> On a side note, we pay for AAA RV towing specifically for Dreamboat. So in a pinch, we could have this towed to a mechanic and they might get to it when they have time or be able to help us. But I suspect that there's not much that a mechanic is gonna be able to do that we can't already do ourselves. So we're gonna give it a try and use that as our backup plan. Yeah. Yep. Ready? Yep, let's do it. The gouging here is bad, but if you come down, you can see that this shoe is actually shorter and it's cracked. It's cracked um, and it's wornly matchable, but severely worn down. Yeah, yeah, it's and it's a brand new. Yeah, it's like 20% worn in 500 miles or so. So here they are, all four lined up. You can see like just like some major grooves worn in and just how worn down the new pads are. Yeah, there's some hardware just spinning around in there. Fortunately, it took out the braking material and not the steel of the drum. I'm not gonna bother to film it because we just did the brake job. I'm just gonna reassemble this with Andrew and we are gonna do our best to get through this and get back on the road. Stay tuned. We've got all the new stuff reassembled. Fought all the springs back into place. Fought all the springs back into place. Nobody we, lost an eye. Right, and we used teamwork because we'd already just done this a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, these springs are fun. At any rate, we are um, at this point going to see if the drum will slide back on. Um, basically, they have to be adjusted in enough that the drum will slide over them. Uh, one of the worst things about a stuck brake, if you go to fix it, is your drum may not actually come off because the brake is stuck. Every time I pull this off, I get a little bit of gear oil leaked into the braking surface. So I use brake cleaner to clean that off. Andrew's just making sure that excessive amount of brake dust gets removed before he Herculeses, Herculeses, Herculos. He gives himself a hernia trying to get that back on. That too. <laughs> All right. And now he's leaning that as close as he possibly can to scooch and get that drum on. Get away. Yep. Alright, so it's slid on. Yep. Up next, all those rings. Yeah, I've got a jiggle and lift it. Can you move the bucket? Yep. Bottom coming at you, top going away is all the way loose. Okay. So how is that supposed to if, if just you knocking it, knocks it out of alignment. What are we missing? Well, it's time for a test drive. We're gonna just kind of take a quick lap around the parking lot. Um, if this doesn't really fix it, at least we know there's no loose stuff rattling around in that brake drum. So, that's how you get it right now. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Captain speaking, our cruising altitude is 
zero. But our ground speed is 